All right, ladies and gentlemen, John Sims here, and I've got another video for you on custom tactics. How to have fun in FIFA 21. These are going to be a 3-5-2 tactics. I implemented them last, uh, last week after I already had five losses. We ended up 22-8, and eight, and we beat two teams that we played in elite gameplay that we swapped our tactics out, and I will show you guys. I am playing with not super meta players. I'm playing with, like, fair players and these guys are very very affordable if you've been playing this game from the beginning and so i'm showing you guys this i love these tactics it's it is so much fun it is so much fun hands down the most fun i've ever had in fifa in the past five years with these tactics okay here's the squad so we've got Aaron robin which you know cheap beast Clyber, super cheap beast both those guys um figo just made it work but we got Griezmann. I'm telling you, hands down, guys. Check this out. I bought him during the foot champs this week in elite gameplay, in the elite uh, ELE, whatever it's called, ELA, whatever the ranking's called. 11 games, 14 goals, 5 assists as our cam here. We've got Awar. We got Dembele. Guys, I'm look, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. We're not playing 5 back, but we are playing a 3-5-2. Now, this is what you call like your ultra attacking. This is be beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And you have to be very unique with defending. If you're not very good at a press style of defense, then I'd say try to practice that a little bit before you get into this because you're going to concede a lot. But be very, very good at defense before you get into this. But if you are good at defense, pressure on heavy touch the width is middle and I, I, I you need to do this um and i'll show you guys why in a little bit but the depth is very five four very high you want everything really high because the higher you are up in the pitch the more time that you can actually get pressed on and so it's actually gonna be it's crucial that your depth is super high now with the offensive style fast build up you're pretty much are trying to just get the ball up the pitch as fast as you possibly can and ding the pass in between because you're going to be having players cut everywhere. It's crazy. It looks it's absolutely insane game. And we'll show you some gameplay here shortly. But offensive width, you want very wide. Uh, you want a wide, uh, wide set here. And then the players in the box, I just keep it up to four off because I want at least one CDM holding and then the three in the back. So that's essentially the idea there. But here's here's how we play in game. I actually I drop Kleiber at C center back. I actually throw uh, Varane over on the right. If you have a left uh, if you have a left footed center back, it's crucial to put him on the left side. But Kunde has that four star weak foot. So if you're looking for a four star weak foot, put him on the left because you will be using that left foot quite a bit in this game. But here, this is the key, guys. You want some pacey center uh, CDMs. And so Kamara gets up to like 94 pace. Mindy's got 99 pace. And so these guys are crucial. But five star weak foot, four star skills is brilliant. Uh, Kamara's one player that I would upgrade. I would even get like a, like a Zanetti or a... Uh, uh, what's the guy? He's a five star week with Zombrota. Zombrota would be brilliant there as well. But uh, so here, here at our state back while attack cover center, they actually go quite a bit wide. They will get out wide, and that is that is very helpful. But you want them to be thinking override center, override center. But they will come out and get and hold down those lines. It's 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 a very brilliant when it comes to marking. Um, not a lot of players are used to playing this style of defense. Uh, when you get into elite gameplay, they try to break you down. They have to break you down by making brilliant long passes or incredible, uh, incredible dr dribblings. Dribbling is crucial if you're trying to beat this. Um, but long passing, uh, you have to be able with long passing. Here we go. We got stay forward, cut inside, get behind, get into box. Now these, this will just keep them pressing forward and they're stay forward so both those wingers are up wide all the way up forward right all the way wide so basically now what's happening is those wing backs are being pulled pulled out okay so those wing backs are being pulled out that gives you two center backs and then maybe two cdms right right there and so then what we do is we actually have griezmann playing basic so he kind of drops down a little bit Right, he kind of plays that steady place. If you don't have a fast player up at striker, then you want them to kind of play back. But you want one at least speedy player, and so we put like at least Dembele um, to stay forward. He's our guy that I'm trying to get behind. But realistically, I don't really care because Luis Figo and Arn Robin are both coming through and cutting in, and so they're really the guys that are getting in behind. 
But Awar, we actually have him a false nine, stay forward. So he drops back with Griezmann, and they make these really unique links. I'm telling you guys, it's the most fun I've had in, in a long time. But you can also just play him game behind, or you can play him mixed. Uh, this is just a preference here. If they're not super fast, I suggest doing something like a false nine. But Awar, uh, I think I have him on a hunter, and... Yes, he's on a hunter, so he's super fast, but he's also brilliant at passing. His dribbling is, I, I want it to be a little bit better, but I utilize him as a camp and Griezmann essentially as a camp, but they are incredible up top. Let's get into a match, all right? One, so this is a Division One match. Here's his squad. Let's check it out. Look at that, R9. I mean, team of the year. I mean, Matthias. This is a perfect, brilliant, brilliant opportunity for us to show you guys on a club. This is, we're playing with base Griezmann, base Dembele, Kamara. Those three together are less than 100K themselves. Dembele's 5K, Kamara's like 20K. Griezmann's like 30, 30K. I mean, we have Robin and Cliver, two of the cheapest SBCs that we've had. We have, you know, Varane's about 100K, so. Looking for that final pass, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Dembele, now Griezmann. Good movement. Awar. Now Griezmann. Just frag. Here we're paused. We've had a couple opportunities. He's had a couple opportunities. It's been really tight inside. Uh, so, but basically, experienced players do is you'll actually see them swap their formation to a 3-5-2 to cover it as much as they possibly can. But they could potentially do a bit of damage here. Griezmann. Here's the play through. Here's the attack. Straight to Grease. Griezmann. Oh, a nice looking pass. And simple and play. Robin. Good defending to prevent the chance. Oh, that was a good play. And see, guys, this is where ex uh, experience, that's an experienced player. But a lot of times, if you're playing somebody that's less than an elite player, less than Division One, you they will the make these simple mistakes. And see, here he's paused the game again. He doesn't know how to play it. Hey, that's what it is. An incisive pass. Vinicius. Tremendous defending to stonewall him. But see what I mean by brilliant defending? You, They have to be very okay. good at dribbling to get through us. And see, now we're wide open on the... Oh, my goodness. I was trying to go out wide Figo. But there's the press. There's the press. Griezmann. Can he put them in front? Oh, my. But you see, there, there's the press. They make that, that quick mistake. Then we get in. Put the ball. They've given it away. And Figo providing vision. Figo! Another opportunity on... Mendy being pressed and pressed high. The high press was on, and that's a fantastic tackle. And here is Robin. Now Griezmann. Dembele! Simple finish. Dembele. Boom! Custom tactics, man. That high press. High press, high depth. And we finished with Dembele. All you had to do was a simple, simple finishing trick. The key is to get it right inside that box. Start right in there. Make their pressure. Make them go one-on-one -on -one with you. Once you make it one-on-one, -on -one, then you have an opportunity. Look at this. He has zero chances on goal. We're playing extremely high forward. He's playing with a super meta team. We have seven shots. He has zero. 60% possession to him. We're giving up the ball quite a bit. It's a weighted pass. But that, that's an opportunity for him. That's his first opportunity. It was all done by dribbling through. Like I said, they have to be very good at dribbling. And so then, if this ever happens, like uh, free kicks, whatnot, you have you have the clear upper advantage. Look at this. Look at this. Come. Oh, goodness. No response. No. But you see how my, my, my CDM got out wide. Ronaldo on the ball. And then we get the ball back. Here, look at this. Look at this press tack. 
But you see, if we were able to get one little dribble in there, we have a we have a player going on <laughs> in behind. Well, no stopping him. Ronaldo. Now with Vinicius Jr. Luis Figo. And an astute piece of defending. A glorious chance. Oh, shoot. I should have shot that. I thought the ball was coming in a little bit faster. But again, another opportunity. It feels like every single time we get the ball, we have a chance to score. Essien. And he read it well defensively. There it is. There it is. All tactics, guys. What occurs in the final 15 minutes. Griezmann. And again, why didn't you get better passing CDM? Well, that is how to nullify the opposition. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Will it be Wide open. Could be. Tactics. 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 It's all tactics there. There's nothing else but tactics there. I saw the long pass. You see the radar. They send it forward, just like I said. I said, the more they go forward on us, the easier it gets for us. So, and then see, this is what I'm saying, guys. When elite gameplay, you'll see them pan out to this. But the thing about it is, their teams aren't built for this. As you can see, he actually put his CDMs out wide, and he put his attackers in the middle, which is very weird to me. He should have put his, uh, he put he should have put uh, Arnold and Mindy in the middle, and put his attackers out wide, and push them forward. But he couldn't, he couldn't keep up, and that is how we got, and the one player he put off was uh, Griezmann. But look at that. We had eight shots on goal, even one shot on the end, the end game. Let's go through this goal here. So here it was a press, it was a press tackle to get the ball into the box. When I talk about being one-on-one -on -one with the defender, this is what I'm talking about right here. Boom, fake, shot, fake, boom. That's all we have for you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and follow for more content. If you guys want to check out our Sims Gaming Discord, we have a full thing for everything. Gameplay, objectives, uh, trading. We have a free trading channel. If you guys want to join our Patreon, $5 a month for full access of my personal benefits where I tutor you guys, and then you can, you can stay up to date with our paid content uh for trading to make you guys millions we have i think two or three verified players in the group but uh that's what they use to uh 